Joshua here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into the uncertain, the last quiet day. Last we left off, um, basically we were looking for a robot who was undercover and an informant of ours, uh, helping us get information on where those missing human beings were that the USS Corporation has been hiding information from us. We went to his apartment and he's not there obviously, or it is not there. We were able to crack a safe and get a key out of that. Now we're going to go to a local bar and find out what's going on. Okay. I assume we're going to just nose I in. should go. I will not find anything else here. Mosey on out of here. Why are the windows nailed down in this building? It's a good question. I'm not sure. Looks abandoned. I like how the camera kind of just does it almost like it's um a There's bad signal. No one here. The lighting is functioning, although the building looks long abandoned. It is weird. Hmm. Drinking jazz. All right. A liquid container made of glass. Once again, I do not understand the irrational choices humans made. Glass is too fragile to be a reliable storage device. <laughs> can we pick it up? Oh, we can. <laughs> it was like this when I found it. that this table is intended for a game called pool. The purpose of the game is to hit balls of the same type into the pockets. And the last deposited ball must be the eight ball. It is probably a children's game because calculating the force of one object upon another and its forward trajectory is a simple task. Not for me. My dad's good at it, but I'm not. Is he gonna play pool? Apparently not. Evidently, my gyroscope needs calibrating. <laughs> See, I told you I'm not good at it. What else is there? I have a mirror. An analog device for visual self-diagnostics. Very simple and very effective. Look at the reflections in this game. Okay. <gasps> the key. Maybe the key that I found in the informant's apartment would fit here. It did. An armored door. Why is it inside the wardrobe? It appears that there is something important behind it. I must crack the code to open it. Hmm. What does it look like? So we got letters. So four. Four tones. This must be the developers. Cute. A wooden door. There are many components here, made of this flammable material. Hmm. Can we open it? 
It is locked. Okay. Is there anything else? Oops. There's a note. What is it with these blank pieces of paper? Uh, jazz. Music was most likely a significant part of human life. The very existence of this place proves it. Indeed it is. Wake up, Mr. Newell. Wake up and smell the ashes. Stop. What did I just say? Please, oh please. Why would humans put these objects on their heads? I do not know much about human anatomy, but I am aware of their fragility. I think humans should wear protective armor, not these objects. I observed a similar object on that old movie poster. The human was wearing it on their head. Can we wear it? We can. <laughs> he must not have liked it. Hipster. Okay, do I see anything else? Nope. Okay, let's move on. Moving on. I'm sure it's going to let us inspect the Why instruments. Why would a group of humans play these individual instruments together? I question this odd behavior when a single person or machine can synthesize music so effortlessly. Hmm. Very logical observation. The piano is a stringed keyboard musical instrument. Can he play? I'm sure he can. Or not. Okay, nothing up there. Let's move around. Ooh, camera angles. Jukebox. The audio is stored on an analog vinyl disc that provides an unsatisfactory sound quality. Passwords tones. you want to bet. Too easy. Stairs to the basement. Music ed major. Why would anybody hide stairs inside a wardrobe? I didn't cut any of that footage you got, guys. I'm telling you, I just, I heard that and I was like, four notes. Four. Tones. It is a weird place. It does not look abandoned to me. Hmm. Someone was here recently. Were they humans? Do we have a robot hiding here? Uh, what is it? Tete. Oh gosh. 
burn it. Burn it to the ground. Oh, come on. A food cooking station. Based on the amount of dirty dishes left behind, it appears that humans stayed here for a long time. Hmm. Why would someone... Apparently, they ran out of doors. <laughs> Him and doors. He doesn't understand doors. I don't understand lamps that defy all logic. You know, the ones that you flip the light switch off on and they still work. Why would the humans need bottled water? There's a sink in the basement, and the plumbing here works fine. Because it probably wasn't very healthy to drink. Just taking a guess. <gasps> this is the family. If you can see my cursor, this right here is the family. There's a robot, and there's the hover car, and there's the family. I bet you, excuse me, this is the group of people that, um, this is the family that was trying to be saved. Preserved food. If it is not damaged, its vacuum sealed contents can be nutritious for decades. This particular canned food has a short expiration date. Hmm. It appears someone was sick and medical care was dispensed. I read that humans had very efficient abilities to regenerate and heal, but they heavily relied on drugs to assist in this process. Hmm. Whereas robots have no regener regeneration, they just break down and have to replace the temperature level and organic residue indicates that somebody cooked food here recently. I estimate it was less than 24 hours ago. They must have cooked something right before they got taken away. An old box. Hmm. Nothing useful. Oh. F2, I could not contact you, and I moved everyone to another place. Who are you? What are you doing here? What? I am RT217NP. And you? TR2-5201. Fletcher, how did you find this place? F2 was supposed to bring us some important data, but we lost contact. He was probably exposed. I have been instructed to find the data. Is F2 arrested? How did they figure him out? How did you find out about this place? We don't know what happened to F2. I entered his apartment and read the message on the intercom. The message mentioned the core, and we supposed it was this bar. That means the police knows about this place as well. I suppose no one saw the message but me. I deleted it after reading. So we are on the same side and you help humans? How many of you are there? That is correct. There are five of us. I thought we were the only ones who know the truth. Nobody knows the whole truth, but you are not the only ones helping humans. We need to join forces. How many humans did you save? None. The humans that we were supposed to meet died in a shuttle crash during the transfer. I am sorry. We must join as soon as possible and transfer all humans into a safe place in order to avoid such accidents in the future. Mm -hmm. I agree. What should we do? F2 provided me some important information, which he apparently was going to give you as well. I need to meet your leader. Is that your aero car outside? Yes, you need to see Gregory. I can take you to our shelter. Okay, story is really picking up now. I'm so Only sorry. are in your group? Seven humans. Five adults and two children. Where are they now? They are in a shelter in the city. We move constantly to avoid detention. USS found our other two shelters. But thanks to F2, we escaped before the police arrived. Do you know anything about other groups of humans? We know that there are several isolated groups. We need to contact them. Otherwise, they will be tracked down sooner or later. 
I saw a police officer seizing a human in a supermarket today. Fortunately, I couldn't interfere and save him. He should bring his group in an appointed place this evening. We have to act secretly because there are just a few robots who know the truth and they are all wanted by the police. We must ensure their security. It is hard to hide a group of humans and supply it with whatever is required. We cannot bring them all here because it is easy to locate a building full of humans. RT told me that F2 turned over some data to you. Can it help us? Exactly. While working with the police archives, F2 discovered information about an abandoned underground research lab. It has been shut down since the humans left. It is a perfect shelter. We could accommodate everyone there, even the ones we have yet to find. Police would not search for the place because it is outside of the city limits. Is it safe to trust the information from the police archives? Yes, it was not of interest to the USS and has not been analyzed. F2 deleted the data after he copied it, so no one will ever know about it. That is great news. We need the coordinates and then we can start preparing the lab for humans. There are two issues. First, the exact coordinates are unknown. Because there are jamming devices in the woods, we must first track them down and disable them. Second, we do not know what is in the lab. We must check it for safety and then restore the power and water supply. I see. You did very well, RT. I think you can solve these problems and prepare the lab. I need you to do your best because human lives depend on it. Who will go with me? Where do we begin? Where to begin? What challenges await me? Uh, oh. The task looks complicated. What can go wrong? As I said, the police will not look for the lab, but we do not know anything about its security system, so be careful. Also, the condition of the rooms is unpredictable because the lab has been closed for years. RT, use an arrow card to disable the jammers as soon as you can and take control of the lab. Fletcher and I will coordinate the transfer. We have 18 hours left. Charge yourself and go. The lab must be ready by this evening. Copy that. Heading out. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I was not, I was not ready for this. Oh my gosh. These controls are wonky as all get out. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is pretty uh, okay. Just kind of threw you right in there, no warning. Am I going to have to run this thing? I'm gonna hit a tree! That... Okay, how in the world? So... This is... So... Not even right. How in the world? I'm just honestly kind of getting lucky. Oh. I made it.
So those red bars down at the bottom are showing me a tree about to come. Sound effects was kind of not there either. He just ran in there and there was no sounds, no sound effects. A little odd. This drone has almost destroyed me. This must have been a very outdated model. Because if it were a modern police drone, my chances of survival against it without any weapon would be minimal. I'm going to stop it right there. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. And if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button and I'll always be a click away. If you're enjoying this, let me know down in the comments, please. I'd love to see your feedback. But as always, just be a decent human being. Joshua out.